Wow. Sorry about that. I thought I thought uh, my mic was on, but it wasn't. So <laughs> I've just been talking to nobody. Uh, what I was saying is that uh, there are three principles in correct sentence structure, communication, parsi, syntax, grammar that I have brought to the table. That's the balance of the honor and the grace, the position of peace and neutrality, and the maintenance of the rule one, rule equal. And you can apply those principles anywhere you go to help level the geometric level playing field of contract. Now, what happens when someone doesn't want to follow those terms and conditions? A peace, neutrality, rule one, rule equal, and the balance of honor and grace. What happens when, when someone doesn't comply with those? Well, then you do what you have to do to protect your biosphere. When someone ignores your vessel terms and conditions, you have the authority to jettison them. It's like if someone comes into your house and you have a rule that you have to take your shoes off when you come in the house. <clears throat> and then they just come in and they ignore your rule and they keep their shoes on. Are you just going to let them walk into your house with their shoes on? Or are you going to throw them out? It's the vessel terms and conditions. And that's how correct sentence structure works. When you create a correct sentence structure document, contract, postal vessel court venue with the 1 by 1.9 Title IV grammar flag in the upper port side corner of the document, and then you have your correct whole number postage in the upper starboard side corner of the vessel, and you have the red light, green light, and you credential the flag, and you have all your banking mechanics in place and <clears throat> your grammar mechanics, you have established a geometric level playing field of contract, and it's up to the other contract parties as to whether they wish to comply with that or they wish to vacate. It's very, <coughs> it's very simple, and my scarlet macaw agrees that it is very simple. I know there's been a lot of uh, silent space during this live stream because I'm trying to do other things as I'm doing this. And uh, just when I thought I had a minute to do it, other things came up. Anyways, I'll be doing an edited version of this to edit out the quiet spots. And I'll be publishing it on my YouTube channel. With all the subscribers I have... It's curious to me that no one has any questions about this grammar at all. Or if anybody is interested in learning it, they're not curious about any part of it. But if you listen to what I just stated about rule one, rule equal, honor, grace, peace, and neutrality, uh, these principles can apply across the board to anything. And correct sentence structure See, when you go into a foreign vessel and dry dock, otherwise known as a fiction court, they use something called legalese. They have their own dictionaries. And if you read the documents, and even if you read, like, uh, legislature, or, I'm sorry, legislation, the language in there is really meant it's, it appears to be very complicated. But the reason it's complicated is because it's full of modification. It's ridiculous that they have developed, they meaning the fiction system, have developed their own language that they use, and you have to go to school for seven years to even gain a beginning comprehension of it, how it works. And they use that language in their foreign vessels and dry dock, their courts, the attorneys, prosecutors, judge, clerk. They're all versed in that language. 
to some degree. And by degree, I am referencing masonry. Because most of those individuals that wear the, the little black dresses that get on the, in the third plane on the box up there, they're Freemasons. They're Master Masons. The judge is always on the third level, which means they're at least a third degree Mason or above. They're Master Mason. It's nothing mysterious about it at all. But they have their own language, and so that is where correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar comes in. Because now, since they're taught, they're using a special, a special kind of language, a special kind of grammar. They have their own dictionaries. They have their own grammatical rules. You have to be careful what you say, and how this or that is interpreted. That's why they say judges' opinions. Because it's always an opinion. It's never a fact. With correct sentence structure, you can do the exact same thing, only the grammar is so specific, so particular, that it's like a laser-like grammar, where there is no room for interpretation. There are no opinions. There's just facts that you have to be able to certify. And so, therefore, you walk in with your language, your grammar, just like they have theirs, and they're all a member of that society called the Bar Association. You walk in there with your own grammar. And while you have to hire an attorney or a lawyer to interpret, <laughs> interpret the law in this language for you because you don't know it, you have to be able to do the same thing with correct sentence structure. You have to be able to explain it to them because they don't know it. I mean, you have to guess that they don't know it. Whether they do or they don't, I have no idea. Most likely, I feel they don't. Why would they learn something that they have no control over? It doesn't matter how much they learn. If they actually learn it and actually comprehend it and get closure on it, then they know the gig is up. They know they have no position to control anyone. They have no authority, no power. The only power they have are the guns and clubs that they hire to enforce their arbitrary opinions, i.e. laws, rules, regulations, and codes. That's it. So that's long and short of it, what correct sentence structure can do for you if you learn it. A good introduction to it would be the webinar I'm going to be doing this July. You can click on my YouTube link in my TikTok bio, click on the YouTube icon, go there and look at the video July webinar. I know it takes a little bit of effort, but not much effort on your part to just do your due diligence, look it up, and then maybe that's something you're interested in. It'll be a two to three hour lecture, Q&A, webinar. And what I'll do in it, the main focus is how to create a correct sentence structure on the spot. Let's look here. Man, I, I got to try and figure out how to get this live thing going on, going on on here. I see people that have like... Uh, 600, 700, 3,000 people watching their live and commenting on the chat, and all they're doing is sleeping on TikTok. Or it's some half-naked girl, or... Let me turn my camera around. Where do I do that? Here we go. There. It always looks so weird when you mirror the camera. I'm going to flip it back. There, that's better. But I see people getting thousands of views and lots of people talking in the chat. And all they're doing is sleeping or 
like I said, a half naked girl or some guy holding a sign that says, God doesn't exist, prove me wrong, or something like that. And they get thousands of views, and people send them gifts and stuff, and I, I don't understand how that works. I really don't. Maybe they pay to advertise their channel. It's possible. I'm not quite willing to do that. <clears throat> but with the data I've shared regarding the three principles of correct sentence structure, and I've also explained the psychology and the mechanics of how that would work in a foreign vessel and dry dock. Um, there's got to be some value to that if uh, people, you know, want to pursue that and learn the grammar. That's completely up to them. <clears throat> Let's see. What else can I talk about? Oh, I was going to say that all these live videos I send over to my YouTube channel in an edited form. So if you ever want to go back and look at them, they'll be stored on my YouTube channel. I'm still not quite sure how TikTok works. Still learning that. <laughs> talk about modification. I just saw some kind of pride advertisement at the top of my screen as Marcellus Wallace once said pride never hurts or I'm sorry pride never helps it only hurts F pride <laughs> it's like I don't think people understand what racism is I really don't Any time, like if you look, for example, in a Black's Law Dictionary, just to see how the legal system views racism, you will see that racism literally means when one race is placed as a priority in front of all others, or is given favoritism, or someone is sanctioned or penalized because of their race. That's racism. So if you say something like it's Purple History Month, well, now you're giving priority to the purple people and all the other ones are at a disadvantage because you're prioritizing one race, the purple race, over all the others. You see what I'm saying? It's such a dichotomy. I don't understand why people don't get it. But then again, this generation is, man, they just make stuff up and have no logic in what they say. No logic at all. Especially with the medical BS that's been going on the past few years, logic has been completely erased from the, youth, from the youth's mind. They have no way to critically think anything. They just think, oh, wow, if I feel this way, then I can force other people to feel this way as well. Because if they don't feel the same way I feel then I'm offended and I'm going to scream in their face and I'm going to complain and protest and blah, blah, blah. Because I identify as a toaster. And you better believe I'm a toaster. <laughs> or whatever. Right down to the child mutilation that goes on. Not even going to go into that because that has nothing to do with correct sentence structure. Well, it could. If you're in a situation like that and you need to stop trespass, you can use correct sentence structure to stop that BS, for sure. Well, thanks for joining me. Uh, keep doing this for, I don't know, another couple weeks. See where I can go with this live streaming stuff on TikTok. If it doesn't take off, it doesn't take off. And I'll just keep posting videos on here because I do get a lot of views on the videos. I'll just keep posting videos and stop doing the lives. I do invite you to go over to my YouTube channel and check that out. Over almost 700 videos of correct sentence structure. If you're ever interested in learning it, it's all there. It's all free. All you need to do is invest your now space in studying. Thank you. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like. 
and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.